Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing BoxyCharm's April unboxing. Um, so I do have my box here. And I'll go ahead and show you what I have. So of course we do have the little BoxyCharm brochure here. Um, again, it's a BoxyCharm, it's a monthly subscription. And I believe after tax, mine is like $32.99. Per month but if you're interested you can always go onto boxycharm's website and subscribe so the first thing that i see in my box i do have the deep cleanser with red clay this is from first aid beauty so i will be trying this here um, i'm not going to try it on camera today i am going to be doing an updated skincare routine and i will be implementing some of these products that i have received from boxycharm and use those then so i can't wait to try this because it looks really nice and first aid beauty is a really good brand and the next thing that I did get is the Beauty For Real Translucent Brightening Powder. This is from Beauty For Real. So we're gonna try this out here and see what this is about. I do have the shade Translucent. Um, so I don't know if you can see that on camera. We'll see, it looks kind of yellow to me, but I know most translucent powders do, but we're gonna try this out today and see how that works. I did also get a Mishko Beauty um, Liquid Eyeshadow. This one is in Magnific, Magnifique, maybe that's how you pronounce it, Magnifique. But I did get a liquid eyeshadow, so we're gonna try this. I did get some brushes. Um, these are, looks like Boyd brushes maybe, or BYOD, yeah, BYOD brush set. So I did get these here. A girl always loves her eye brushes. I mean, hey, you can't go wrong with makeup brushes. So that's good. The last thing that I do have in my boxy charm is the Violet Voss. Pretty in Paradise palette. So this is the palette here. And I think this is some really good colors. Oh, sorry, you do see my reflection, but these look like some beautiful colors that I'm gonna, you know, use today. I do have a little bit of green on, so I'll probably just go in because it looks like it's more shimmers than mattes. Um, so it looks like we do have a shimmer blush, um, maybe like a, it says coconut cream, a powder here, maybe for a blush as well. Um, but then these are shimmers here. So I really don't have a transition color. I mean, I could use this color here to go in on the lid, maybe top it off with this color, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is a really pretty palette and we're gonna use this today. So I did go ahead and prime my lids. So I am going to go ahead and dip into this color here and just put this on my eyelid and see what we can create. All right, so again, I'm just dipping into this color here and using it as my transition color. I hope everybody is doing well. The sun is shining, the weather's warming up. We're still here, it's another day, God is good. But I hope everybody is doing well. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this liquid eyeshadow. Again, this is in Magnifique. Yeah, Magnifique. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right, but hey, I'm just going off what it says. So it looks kind of like a, like a purple color, kind of, sort of. We'll see, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and see what happens. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna take me a little brush and try and blend that out. Okay, I like that, that's cute. I like that. Just a basic, simple glam. I like that, makes your eye pop. Okay. And I'll put some lashes on here in a little bit too as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next eye. I like that. So me applying this, it looks kind of silver, but in the wand, it looked kind of almost like a purple color. I like this. Really 
Okay, I like that. I really like that, guys. You know what? I'm going to build it up a little bit more. I like this. Let me, you know, play with makeup. I'm going to build it up with some more. I know they say it only takes like a little bit, but hey, when you find something you like, you want to, you know, experiment with it and see what happens. All right now, see, just basic, simple, cute, all at one time, and you're still shining, you know? And you know what? We didn't even use the brushes on here. You know, shame on me. I didn't even use these brushes, but it's okay. I will be implementing these brushes in some of my future videos, so I will be using those. I'm gonna add some green to it because I have some green in my shirt here. I'm gonna put a little of that green shimmer on here too, just try to, you know, mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use my finger and put it on here and see what happens. Just play with the palette and see what we can do. Oh yeah, that's cute too. These are very pigmented too, I like this. And I will be using this for my, you know, like a blush topper, um, cause it does have sparkles in there, shimmer. So there's that. I like this. All right, Violet Voss. Y'all always have some good palettes though. I got several Violet Voss palettes in my collection from BoxyCharm. This is another reason why I love BoxyCharm because you get to experiment with all of the brand new makeup that's coming out. So y'all need to look into it if you haven't already. I'm even gonna take this brown here too because I got brown on my shirt as well. I'm gonna take this brown here, this brown shimmer. Use a different finger though. Okay, now that's cute. That is cute. I like that. It just brought the look together a little bit more. It matches my shirt too, so that's what we go for. I like to match my makeup with what I'm wearing. I know you're not supposed to do it like that, but that's how I do it. So you do what works for you because that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to do my foundation and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my setting powder. I'm going to use the blush and we'll be, you know, almost done with the look. So I'll be back in just a few moments. Okay guys, so I am back. I put on my foundation and my concealer. It looks like my lights are like making me look white. But anyway, um, so I am getting ready to go in with this setting powder here. This is the Beauty For Real Translucent Hydra Setting Brightening Powder. Um, so this is what it looks like here. So I'm getting ready to take my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just gonna set my under eye here. See how this works. Or see how it looks, not how it works, but gonna blend out my under eye and then we're gonna set okay definitely brightening for real it looks kind of yellow sort of it looks really pretty um, let me just blend out this next eye here Okay, so I did go ahead and set my under eyes with the powder. I'm not for sure how I feel about the powder. I don't know if it's making me look lighter and brighter or I'm not for sure. But I mean, it's still pretty. Looks like it's blending right on in with my skin. I just can't tell if it's from the lights after putting on my foundation or if this is just really brightening for real. It may be. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with it and see what happens. It has like this push top here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with it. Just dip my brush in here. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like it just completely blends in with my skin, for real. So, that's a good thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on my bronzer. I know this wasn't going to be a full makeup tutorial, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it real quick while we're here because I'm getting ready to apply that um, blush in the eyeshadow palette, as I said before. All right, so I'm just going to take the blush out of this palette here. Again, this blush, I don't know if you can see it, but it has sparkles in there. They're really pretty. So I'm going to use this. Very pretty. I'm gonna put some more on there. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really pretty, it has sparkles in there. You guys know I like sparkles, I like glitter, so I'm loving that. And then I think I'm going to drag like the green and the, like that green color and that uh, tan color here. I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line. There's that, and then I'm just gonna take me another pencil brush, and I think I'm gonna use like maybe these two colors here, these two colors here, and mix it just like right here in the inner corner of my eye, just to make it pop a little bit. And these are very pigmented and very creamy, like you don't even have to spray your brush. I mean, if you wanna spray your brush, you can, but yeah, they're very pigmented, so you don't even have to spray your brush if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna mix these two colors together. So, I mean, this palette is beautiful. I like it. I recommend it. I recommend BoxyCharm, guys. Check it out. All right, guys. So, this completes the video. This is the completed look with the products that I received in my BoxyCharm. I really do recommend it. I do like this month's box. Um, I love the setting powder. I went into there. I finished my hair. Um, but I went in the mirror and looked in regular lighting. And this is perfect. This is beautiful. And it has a very beautiful finish to it. It doesn't look very powdery or anything like that. It just sets on your face like, just like what it says. It's a brightening, set, translucent, brightening powder. So it does exactly what it says. It's set on there. As far as the palette goes, I do love the palette. The palette is gorgeous. I do love it. The colors, they're very pigmented. Um, you don't have to spray your brush or anything to, you know, see the product. So I do recommend BoxyCharm, guys. Again, this is where it's at. As far as the makeup brushes go, I will be using those here soon in my makeup tutorials. Um, so I will be using those. The liquid eyeliner, this is pretty too. This is very pigmented, as you guys can tell whenever I was putting it on, it's very pretty. As far as the facial cleanser by First Aid Beauty, I will be doing a skincare routine here soon. And I will be using some of those products that I have received in my BoxyCharm. That way I can just combine them all in one and let you guys know, you know, how it does on my skin. So that's it guys. Um, if you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I will have more content loading and as always, stay blessed.